You know, there's a lot of talk about these drone strikes, you know, how they're killing Americans on American soil. Well, I'm all for it. But only if they're celebrities who got away with murder. You know what I'm saying? Next time O.J. Simpson steps out of prison, bang. Next time Robert Blake goes out for a pizza, bang. I'll tell you what happened to me a couple of weeks ago. I go into McDonald's, I don't have my wallet. So I ordered from the value meal. I ordered a hamburger, some fries, and a soda. It came to $3.17. I look in my pocket, all I got is $100 bills. So I hand this kid the $100 bill and he freaks out. He says, I gotta get the manager. So he calls the manager over. The manager says, look, I can't take that bill because if it shows up in our receipts, we're all fired. He said, but do me a favor. Take the food, no charge. Lunch is on McDonald's. And get this, it works at Wendy's. It works at Burger King. I'm a big sports fan too, I love sports. But there's some sports I don't understand, like curling. I don't get it, some guy's pushing a crock pot down the ice. Two guys in front of it sweeping. It's not a sport, that's housework. And soccer, what's the deal with soccer? I was watching a game, there was 100,000 screaming fans for three hours. Final score, zero, zero. And baseball, I used to be a big baseball fan, but you know what? Baseball got pussified. Because now what do they have? They have these luxury boxes with beautiful couches, flat screen TVs. That's not baseball, they're drinking wine, they're eating sushi. Let me tell you something, you go to a ball game, you don't order a hot dog, a beer, and some peanuts. Get the fuck out of the stadium. And football, I like football. But some of the rules I don't get. Like, why is a field goal three points, no matter where you are on the field? I say, if you're inside the 25-yard line, the kicker should be blindfolded. And what about the two-minute warning? Is there anybody that doesn't know there's two minutes left in the game? What are they gonna have next, a five-minute heads up? It's ridiculous. Let me tell you something else. Some people say hunting is a sport. I don't think so. You get these guys, they're out in the woods, they're in camouflage, they got these high-powered rifles with big scopes on them. That's not hunting, that's an assassination. I say, let them go out with a stick and a sharp rock. Let's see what they come back with. And you know what, the deer get even, did you know that? Because 140 people are killed every year due to deer accidents. But I got news for you, those aren't accidents. Those deer, they're like suicide bombers. They wait at the side of the road. They see that guy coming down. You know what they say, here comes that asshole that shot my cousin. Boom. That's what I say. But tell you what else is bugging me now. These people that tell me they have beautiful kids. You know, I understand everybody thinks their kids are beautiful, but don't show me the pictures. And one guy showed me, he said, I got three beautiful kids and he showed me the pictures. And I looked at him, I said, okay. These two aren't bad, but this one, this a wombat. And texting, I'm sick and tired of texting. All day long, these people, like numb thumbs, they keep doing this all day long. I was at the airport, there was a guy next to me for two hours, he kept doing this. And he didn't even have a phone. And what about water bottles? How many people, how many people died of thirst before there were water bottles? Have you seen these people all day long? They take the bottle, they take the cap, Ten seconds later, put the cap back on. Are you kidding me? It's ridiculous. And you know what else is getting me? I was watching this on TV. They had a burial at sea. A burial at sea? Are you kidding me? Isn't that just taking a guy and throwing him in the ocean? i tell you something. I know a lot about that. There's no such thing as a burial at sea. Something else that's bugging me, too. There's this survey it came out and said that Eskimos have the lowest heart attack rate in the world. And they say it's because of the fish oil. Well, let me tell you something. I talked to a lot of doctors and they told me the major cause of heart attacks is stress. And I'm thinking the reason Eskimos don't get heart attacks, what could possibly stress out an Eskimo? What, a traffic jam out on the tundra? What, he had a little too much blubber over the weekend, can't fit into his kayak? This is ridiculous. These are the things that drive me nuts. I was watching this commercial for InstaSlim. Have you seen this one? InstaSlim. Guy's got on a 
wife be the t-shirt that makes her stomach look nice and flat. Then they got these max tall things, you put them in your shoes, they get four inches taller. Then they have the stuff you spray in your hair. Let me tell you something, especially for the ladies. You go into a nightclub, you know, you want to pick up a guy, you see him with all this stuff on, he looks like you, Jackman. You get him back to your apartment, he takes all that shit off, Danny DeVito. Be careful. Let me tell you what happened to me. This has really happened to me. I was coming back from San Diego. I don't know if you've ever been on the train, coming back from San Diego. It's called a surf liner. So I'm on the train, and they got these little tiny, little tight bathrooms. So I go in the bathroom, and they got a hand blower, a hand dryer on the wall. And it's so close, and the slightest movement sets it off. While I was in there, you know, I'm doing my business, and the train rattled a little bit, and kind of, and the hand, hand blow went off and this hot air went right on my penis. Burnt the tip of my penis. Had to go to the doctors. The doctor said, wow, you did burn it. He said, let me put a little salve on there so it'll cool it down. She starts rubbing this salve on my penis. And I don't know what came over me, but I just looked at him and said, hey doc, has anyone ever told you you got beautiful eyes? i tell you what else is going on, folks. Drives me nuts, dog people. You seen these people? They get up five o'clock, six o'clock in the morning. They're walking their dog. They got the, they got the bag for the poop. They got the poop bag. Have you seen this? And the dog takes a big steaming crap and they pick it up in a poop bag and they walk around with it and they're all happy. Just think of how ridiculous that is. Just think if your husband, wife, boyfriend, girlfriend said to you, "Hey, honey, I'm gonna poop in a bag. You wanna carry it around for a while?" You'd think they were nuts, but you're okay with that. And then you go off to work, what happens? You come home, the dog left a big steaming pile on the carpet. But you don't get mad, you're okay with that. It's okay, boy, don't worry about it, right? But let grandpa shit the bed one time. He's off to the Shady Rest nursing home. I know you people. I'll tell you something else. There's another thing that bugs me. I was watching Dateline, I don't know if you ever watched this show. But they have these murder cases, and they they always interview the guy that's accused of killing his wife. Have you ever noticed that? And they ask him the same stupid question over and over. Did you kill your wife? What's the guy gonna say? Of course, he says, of course not, I love my wife. I would never harm my wife. Just once, I wanna see one guy be honest, step forward, have, have the colonies to, to just say what you did, you know? When the guy says, did you kill your wife? Just say, yes, I did. I didn't, and I wonder. I told her, don't you vacuum in front of the TV while I'm watching football. Folks, let me tell you, there's a lot of oddities, there's a lot of absurdities, there's a lot of nonsense out there. So be careful, and if you wanna know what's going on, just ask Jersey Duke. I'll see you around.